Hello, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, aliens and ants. I think it will be a fantastic day today because I am super bored and there is nothing to do but make a video on YouTube. And the video that we're going to make today is how to save Raid Shadow Legends. And I'm going to walk you through everything Plarium needs to do and won't in order to save the game. But before we get into that, I want to do a quick shout out and say what up to my boys down in Matt Newskin Music. These are some of the most manly men on God's green earth. They put firefighters to shame. I love them all, and they help me out with my musical instruments, so I just wanted to plug them in this video. All right, so let's get into it, and I hope you're ready for one of the best exactly 10 minute length videos I've ever done in my life. The best thing about the pack offers in Raid Shadow Legends are the artwork and memes they use behind the actual offer. There's nothing like spending $30 in order to pull, let's be honest, you can't pull a chamois anymore, but you can probably still pull, I don't know, your sixth or seventh Nethro. While you're at it, don't forget to level up that sixth Nethro with this $70 chicken pack. All right, and now here we have two shards of disappointment. We're gonna start with the first one and be disappointed together. <laughs> ah, yes, a blue character. Very good. Let us be disappointed with this one together. Let's pretend I spent $30 instead of getting this from free from the clan boss. Here's a legendary. And, oh, I, whoa, oh, this is not good. This was, I needed this video to be bad. I'm trying to make fun of the games. They're, they're trying to buy me off, boys. It's not gonna work. This is a wonderful example. Now that we've pulled a wonderful character, let's see how much money it's gonna cost me to make this character at the level we need to use her. Let's see, how many books are we gonna need? We're gonna need a nice seven, 10, nice. It's only 10 books. That's a solid $100 right there. Let's move on to see if I have the potions. Oh, very nice of them to offer me the opportunity to purchase and claim some of the potions I need. I can get through, ooh, you know, Okay, like legitimate sarcasm, like legitimate gripe with, I don't understand. Why, why, for the love of God, do you even put three potions in? I mean, why not just spit in my mouth? Like, what's the point? Seriously, like, it, that's, is that even one ascension? Is that even in a, a singular ascension? Let's look. Okay, where's, where's, where's the Zofster? There it is. Okay, there it is. Let's see, ascend her. Oh, it is one. Okay, so hold on. So it would have been one, and it would have been two. Two ascensions. Am I wrong? That's it. Okay, so it gets you that. Ah, oh, $50. break this. Okay, so we, man, we're almost done with the, the whole front bar. We must be... Man, we gotta be like halfway through. Oh no, we're almost a fifth of the way through this. How many more points do we need? It's gotta be soon, not too many more. Only 2,000 more? That's, okay, we only need four more sacred shards. I wonder where we can get them. Don't worry guys, if you're free to play, all you have to do is open up 2,500 green shards. Ah, champion training event. I love a good tournament. Oh wow, only 31,000 points. Oh man. Well, at least I'm gonna get a, uh, a, a void shard. It, you know, it only ends in nine hours. 15,000 points, I mean, I should have time. The most content in the game right now is the amount of packs there are. And by content, I mean new things that I can talk about for videos. You think I wanna make, I don't know, another Code Heart guide? You think I wanna make top five rares in the game so you can join and see me put Apothecary, Kale because it's your starter, I mean, Cold Heart and Bellor. I mean, do you want me to do more of these? I mean, seriously, like the, the, uh, the depressing lack of content coming, it's getting stupid. I mean, I'm a guy who owns a guitar that has two snakes on it with a whammy bar and I'm calling something stupid. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to say it. I'm breaking through the fourth wall this time, guys. DM can't do it. Kay Casey's getting bored. I, I <laughs> Okay, so how to actually save the game. Um, it's quick, it's obvious. Everyone already knows these answers. I'm just gonna go through them. We're gonna shotgun right through these, okay? Bang, first and foremost, 
duplicate system, please fix that. We got artifact filtering, yes, but it's not artifact sorting. Can we please also revisit that? Make it where you can actually sort by highest speed, lowest speed, highest crit damage. Just add a, add a toggle if possible. We need that as well. We need a actual content. Faction Wars, yes, I do believe that was new content. I actually like the glyphing system. It was unbalanced. They are slowly nerfing it. Hopefully they nerf it again, but it's actually worth doing. I, we need real content though. We need repeatable new content. I'm talking Void Tower, 100 levels, something. We've been farming Dragon a year at this point, okay? We need, we need a reason to log into the game and play other than getting incrementally better at the gear that's already out there and available. Platinum Arena is a joke for anybody that isn't like not only welled out to the level or got lucky to the level of having all the top tier characters or even, you know, Sifi Rodos is really what it comes down to, plus your Arbiter you can get for free and whatever your fourth is and you're in there, okay? But even at that point, you still have to have the gear. It's, it's, it's so diluted down to the point, it's not even viable. And even if you do have the gear, you still have to pay so many gem refreshes to keep into arena because of how high the floor climbs, i.e. the system is bad, okay? I, someone out there, I think it was Stu Gaming or maybe it was Chofly or, I forget who, okay? Somebody, and I'm sorry if I forget who it was, I, I think it was Stu, made a suggestion about the arena store where basically when you're winning arena battles, um, you get like tokens and you can like purchase stuff from the store, you know, kind of like the marketplace, maybe has ancient shards in there, stuff like that. Okay, love that suggestion. We need to add, we need to add that to the game. Okay, you see how easy it is just to like bang, 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 bang. And the problem is I know, I know that they're trying really hard to get the infrastructure and the quality of life stuff. And while we appreciate that, the problem, it's taking so long to get actual content. I mean, I can crank out 10 minute videos every single day for you guys on this champion, this champion, this champion, whatever. We can all come up with content every day, but all of us YouTubers are bored to tears and it's not whining, it's not complaining. It's because of the way the game is designed once you get to the top, the, the, it's just done. There's nothing there, okay? There's been an argument I've seen on Reddit where people are like, oh, he's, his opinion is he just welled out, he got to the end of the game quicker, and now he's over it. That means your argument is the entire game is just collecting the characters and we're basically playing Pokemon. And that when you do get the characters, i.e. welling out, ah, oh, you get to the end game, there's nothing to do. If that's true, why are you playing the game? Because then once you actually pick up the characters, you should just quit, right? No, it's not the way the game works. And unfortunately, we're all bored to tears and you will too be bored to tears once you get lucky and pull a good character and get to Dungeon 20 where you're farming it and you realize the entire game is how how much faster can I farm Dragon 20? Which by the way, I can farm it way faster now because I pulled second Zavia, go me. Who gives a It doesn't matter, man, because if I farm it faster, it means I get to incrementally increase my gear a little bit faster. I get a run out of energy a little bit faster. And then once I get my character strong, what do I do with them? Nothing, because there's nothing to do. There's no towers to farm. There's just the dungeon twice and the faction wars and I'm slowly getting the faction wars done. Yay, but between each individual faction, there's no different rewards. It's not like the dwarf one only gives you speed and the undead one gives you attack. So, well, me, I better get my undead team up, right? Like that's not, it's not even that, okay? And if it was, people would complain, but at least you would have a reason to play, you know? At, at some point, at some point, we have to have a reason to log into the game that doesn't include gambling, right? I love the game because I love gambling, but once we've gambled and you sucked us in and we realize there's nothing to do in the game, can we get some content, please? That's all I'm saying, okay? I, I know it's easy to say, but can we get some content, please? Like, the best content in the game right now is the, the clan boss, which is dead. You wanna see the best content? This is literally, if I was gonna make top premium as a YouTuber, if I'm gonna make primo, that good, good you know, mm, that's gonna be a top tier clan boss guide. Oh yeah, people are gonna love that one, right? So let me crank out a clan boss guide for you. Let me show you what that looks like. Here we go with the gameplay, okay? There, this is what we have to do if we wanna make videos about something interesting. 
I mean, sure, I'll come out with 15 more rare guides for you. No problem, guys, I got you. Top five rares in coming to a theater near you. But other than that, there's nothing to do in the game, boys. We're all bored. We're all punching the same fat stomach. Can we get some other content, please? That is my only point. Thank you very much. I love you guys and have a great day.